Hey, what's up guys, Max here. Max here, and we're gonna do a little follow-up on Battlegrounds. This is my first video on how I feel about Battlegrounds. Um, I myself have not been playing it until the last two weeks is where I really just dedicated all the time and uh, actually quite a good amount of time. I've kind of almost stopped grinding in the arenas almost all together just because that time that I was dedicating in the arenas for units and battle chips is now going into battlegrounds. And even when I've streamed guys that you come in, I'm probably doing battlegrounds and I try to remind myself, oh, just go in the arenas, do do a few matches. Um, but uh, I have been enjoying myself in Battlegrounds. Um, currently, we're doing Safeguard, and I've, I am terrible. And I'm still actually having a good time. So why is that is because I'm taking a point of view of that I don't know everything in the game, but the fact that I keep dying, I keep making mistakes and mistakes and mistakes. Um, I'm, and then you guys, everybody that stops by the streams and chat lets me know is like, hey, you should have done this, you should have done that. And then I think about it and I'm like, that makes sense. That helps so much inside this game and it actually gets me really um, motivated to kind of learn how certain champions interact, what are the best counters for other champions. And I'm always seeing like literally everybody that I face in Battlegrounds, I'm seeing them like kick my behind, like just really good. Like my current scoring right now, it's at 100, uh, what's that, 1,769. And um, some of my champions from my deck are, are just done. Uh, it kind of happens from the live stream that we were doing earlier today. And just, you know, so uh, I'm not going to force it. I, you know, it'd be nice to go and refresh them or change my deck up. I guess I would do that if I was playing live. But um, for now, uh, I did want to make this video because I, I am I am truly enjoying these um, battlegrounds and I this mode in the game I'm really enjoying it do I want to be competitive in it um, I think if I start understanding certain champions and how they interact a little bit better um, and that's gonna come through more time in the battlegrounds and just more experience and just constantly finding myself doing these um, then I, I I will probably jump into that competitive mode, maybe shoot for the top 100 leaderboards and just strive to stay up there and then, you know, work our way into like the top 80 and then the top 70 and then 50 and so on and let that be a mission. Because remember when we started the top 100 uh, summoners ratings, even though that wasn't just, it was just based off me ranking up champions. Well, I don't know if I kind of want to go that direction with Battlegrounds, but again, I can't just say I'm going to do it now because I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for that, um, but I'm excited for the, what's to come inside this mode. But besides all that, I do have a suggestion that I'm going to leave here at the end of the video to Kabam if they do watch this. Um, because I, I got an idea from speaking to a friend of mine, by the way, that quit the game. I was talking about this on stream. He quit the game and he decided he was done about a year ago. Anyways, he stops by the stream and, and says, hey, what do you, what's that game mode you're playing? And I, he sees me, how I'm excited. He sees the interactions. He's like, that looks like fun. So guess what he did? He downloaded the game, started playing the Battlegrounds, and he had, a, he had fun with it. I was talking to him and he, he just talked about how... You know, he had a little, he had fun, but he realized his champions weren't as strong. His deck that he had, uh, again, keep in mind, he quit over a year ago. He didn't have all these champions and he didn't know how, how to fight certain champions. He's like, hey, what's his new champion? Why, why does he do this? Why does he do that? So him and I, even though he quit a year ago, are almost in the same boat because I'm always focused on a certain handful of champions that I use. And I've only fought a certain handful of champions almost all the time. And only do I get introduced to a new opponent during event quest days or months where we're fighting the new champion. And then once that champion's gone, it's gone forever. You know, we don't see them unless we're doing some kind of story questing or some missions that come by. But ultimately, we don't see that champion again. So that led me to think and, and, and think and think. And I was, you know what I would love to see? A lot of us have 
two star champions, three star champions, and even some four star champions in our rosters. You know, if we've been playing the game for the last year, um, just simple arena milestones has let you to get a free three star and a free four star champion. Uh, the five star and six star you still got to grind for. But I would love to see if Battlegrounds kind of like said, hey, not not always, because that's um, I, don't, I don't want this to happen an entire every single day every single month um but maybe for like a week or two weeks like hey today um we're gonna be focusing only on the three stars so we're just gonna take three stars i know you 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 ranked up your rosters to all your six stars to rank three or rank four your five stars to like rank five um but we're gonna do a challenge and it's a weak challenge of only three stars are able to be allowed inside the battleground so that gives kind of like somewhat of a equal advantage of course there's going to be tons of accounts that have all their three stars ranked up and there's going to be accounts that don't rank up those three stars but just like um like kabam's done in the past where they've said hey only bring two stars or three stars to these arena challenges or these uh, uh, quest challenges i want them to do that to battlegrounds that would be so cool and i would love to do that and and just have some fun live um, I hope that's in the plans and in the books for them. I, I think a lot of us, when it comes to like the community, just just in general, like everybody in there, I think there a lot of us have good three-star rosters, you know. And I know we don't have them rank up, but if that's uh, like a suggestion for for Kabam to kind of look into that would be super cool you know so always rank up your champions keep them ready because we, we don't know what's coming and what we're going to end up facing but the other cool point and this is why we're in this screen is the battleground store guys um uh, i i'm i should have started playing battlegrounds like weeks ago but again i just started playing two weeks ago and so far from what i've been able to pick up is one entirely feature six star crystal um obviously i got it from the uh, iso store the 13k crystal but i picked it up by buying these uh, shards and now as you can see we're at uh 6500 and i talked about it on stream that i wanted to pick up the signature stones but the more the more uh, I talk, I, I pondered and thought about this and I wanted to do that. There's 10 signature stones and that spends me 3,900 um, of those items. And I think what I want to do is actually because I ranked up so many champions specifically for battlegrounds. Like again, I've been enjoying this mode and I haven't really ranked up champions until battlegrounds started in my uh account and i was just having a lot of fun but because i'm lacking t5 catalyst the route that i'm gonna go right now after going for if if i don't go for another feature six star shards here a thousand shards um and just focus on the features champions i'm gonna be going for rank up materials as much as i would love to get those signature stones to kind of sig level up my champions especially the low ones or some that are just close to getting max sig um the 10 signature stones to me is not that much i'd rather do the cavalier difficulty event every single month and just maybe pick them up i know they're randomized rng based uh signature stones but i'd rather get them from there and just kind of focus my on my resources here on rank of material so today i'm not going to leave you with a hesitation we're actually going to go with five um fragments here which kind of gives us basically i think it was the calculations it was one entire uh catalyst and then here we're just going to go and purchase uh two for now uh, but we'll come back and look at this we still have nine days before the store resets and there's still some um i keep forgetting the name of these uh there's still some tokens for participating in battlegrounds available out there so i still need to win some matches so definitely stop by one of the live streams i would you know your advice to me inside this mode is is it's huge you know um and um i appreciate it so definitely like i said stop by um uh oh it resets sorry it resets in two days I, I said nine days but the nine days is a different clock it looks like it actually there's a limit reset right there in two days so in two days we'll be able to pick up some more shards um open another feature crystal there's still some other areas that i can pick up some shards inside this game 
But those are my thoughts, guys. What do you think? Should we have like a three-star challenge? Are you enjoying Battlegrounds as much as I am? Um, are you ranking up? Are you excited to rank up your champions again? Um, are you excited to open new crystals for new champions? Possibilities to add to your deck? Like, oh, there's so many. There's so many things that I'm excited for when it comes to this mode. Um, and um, stay tuned, stay subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you. And hopefully soon we'll be pushing for the top 100 as I get more experience um, inside the battlegrounds. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.